What qualities most help you get to where you are today? Faith and determination and practice. Right. Practice makes perfect. Right, what would you have done differently in your career if you knew then what you know now? What I've done differently. Uh, let me see. If you knew what you knew now. Yeah, I know. Practice more. Practice more? I practiced a lot. <laughs> you practiced a hell of a lot. <laughs> but you're going to practice more? Oh my God. Okay. What is your greatest lesson learned? Not to trust everybody. Mm. Not to trust everybody in the industry. There's a lot of sharks. And record companies steal. They cheat. Mm -hmm. You have to audit them. Mm -hmm. And it's time for artists to take a stand against them. Mm -hmm. Because they totally take advantage of them. Totally. They forget that it's the artists who make the company, not the company who make the artists. Without the talent, the company would be nothing but just hardware. I mean, just, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it takes that real good talent that the, that the public wants to see. Mm -hmm. What are your, some of your favorite albums? My favorite albums would be uh, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite. Uh, Claude Debussy's uh, Greatest Hits, which is, you know, Claire de Lune and Arabesque, uh -huh. and Afternoon of a Fawn. Uh -huh. um, I love Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, uh -huh. James Brown Live at the Apollo, um, Sound of Music. I love Rodgers and Hammerstein. I love the great show tune writers very much, and I love Holland Dozier Holland. From Motown, they were geniuses. So many great writers, so many great ones. And any other great albums, like contemporary albums? Uh, great albums. It's hard because albums today they have one or two good songs, and the rest yeah. stink. You know. Yeah. Or older stuff. I mean, it could be like oh, Marvin okay. Gaye. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh, or Sly. Sly and the Family Stone. I like everything they do. <laughs> um, Stevie Wonder is is oh, ingenious. Everyone, uh, uh, Talking Book, um, I love the one where he did Living for the City, I forget the name of yeah. it. Yeah. Fantastic. I think that was uh, Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Uh -huh. And hearing his music made me say to myself, I can do this and I think I can do this on an international level. Really? Really. And, um, then when the BGS came out in the '70s, that did it for me. I cry, I cried listening to their music. I knew every note, every it's instrument. It's broken heart. Yeah. How oh. can you mend that one? It's broken, broken heart. heart. That, how can you stop the rain <laughs> falling down? I love that. How, how can you stop? stop the sun from shining. <laughs> when the so well go right. I love that stuff. When they hit with Saturday Night Fever, man, that did it for me. I said, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I know I can do this. And we hit with Thriller. I just started writing songs like Billie Jean. I wrote Beat It, Starting yeah. Something. And uh -huh. like, just writing, writing, and it was fun. A any posters in your bedroom as a kid? And of who? Yeah, mm, Brooke Shields. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. My sisters would get jealous and tear them off the wall. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brooke Shields? Okay. Yeah. What, are the, what are the great shows that you've seen? Concerts? Or even just shows? James like? Brown, Jackie, what, the real entertainers, man. The real ones make you get goosebumps. It was James Brown where? Where'd you see him? We used to have to go on stage after him because he would come on. We would come on amateur hour. Yeah. So we, I'd be in the wings just studying every step. And, on TV? Week. On a TV show? No, uh, like at the Apollo. Amateur know? hour at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. And and you saw him perform. Yeah, Jackie Wilson. All and Jackie the Wilson. The uh, uh, Temptations. But the uh, show that, do you remember one show where, you, oh, you saw The Temptations too? Yeah. Yeah. It was their show that you saw that you were like, oh my God. James Brown, Jackie Wilson. James Brown, Jackie Wilson shows oh at the at the. It made me cry. At the Apollo. Yeah, it made me cry. Wow. I've never seen nothing like that. That kind of emotion, that kind of fever, feeling. It was like 
on another higher spiritual plane they were on. They were like in a trance, and they had the audience in the palm of their hand. I just love how they could control them like that, that kind of power. Uh -huh. when, they, when they sing, they would have tears running down their face. Oh, because uh, they just... They get so into it, you know. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Now, what are your, some of your favorite songs? Favorite songs of all time? Yeah. Um, I love Burt Bacharach very much. Oh. Any Motown, Beatles, like Eleanor Rigby, Yesterday, um, any of the Supremes. And yeah. All that stuff is great. I think the 60s had some of the best melodies of all time. Yeah. Between Peter, Paul, and Mary, and you know, all those people, I thought they were great. Mamas and the Papas uh -huh. were wonderful. And um, the Drifters go a little further back, but I love it. It's on, on the boardwalk, on Broadway, it's ingenious. Yeah. Uh, simple. The simple ones are the best, I think. Um, I love Alfie. You know that one? So beautiful. Wow. Um, there's so many. So many. <laughs> like movies, so many great movies. So list of the f few things that could be helpful to someone breaking into the music business. Believe in yourself. Study the greats and become greater. Mm -hmm. And be a scientist. Dissect. Mm -hmm. Dissect. Yeah. And you said it before, you said something else. Per uh, don't give up, no. What'd you say? I don't remember. No matter what, I mean, I don't care if the whole world is, is against you or tease you or say you're not going to make it. Believe in yourself. yourself. No matter what. No matter what. Some of the greatest men that have made a mark on this world were treated like that. You know, you know, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna get anywhere. They laughed at the Wright brothers. They laughed at Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. They laughed at Walt Disney. They made jokes of Henry Ford. They said he was ignorant. He didn't have a college degree because he dropped out of school. Mm -hmm. Disney dropped out of school. They even took Ford to court to prove his intelligence. That's how really? far they went. Yeah, and uh, these are men that shaped and changed our culture, our customs, the way we live. The way we do things. Mm. And I think God plants little seeds through people on the earth. And uh, I think you're one, I'm one, um, to bring some bliss, some escapism, mm -hmm. some joy, some magic. Because without entertainment, what would the world be like? Mm. You know? What would it really be like? Mm. It would be a totally different world for me. I love entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and my favorite of all is film. Mm. The power and magic of movies. Mm. It's the greatest, it's the most expressive of all the art forms. I think it, it touches the soul. M music and movies is the most expressive. It's like, almost like, it's, it's like religion. Mm. You get so involved, so caught up. Mm -hmm. You go in the theater a different person when you come when out. When you come out. Yeah. And they've affected you that way. Yeah. Like, that's powerful. Uh, that's powerful, man. I, I, think love I think that's strong. I like that. I like, I love that. And you got them, you know. And you make we, them feel a certain way. Yeah, you know? especially They relate to it. Yeah, yeah. And you, they, they live it. They They're live it with you, yeah. They forget their shit. The experience, in the, the experience of watching a movie affects their life. Their to their whole, and it can change their That's what I was saying. Remember about seeing Star Wars when I was seven years old? Yeah. That, it's not, it's a different experience for yeah. Paris or Prince singing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Even though it's the same movie, at the moment when you're a certain age and when you see it and what's going on in the world at that mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and, when, and it's the first time you ever see something like that, and it's mm -hmm. like, movies affect you. It's just like it's listening yeah. to hearing a song or seeing, yeah. or seeing an artist perform. Yeah. Getting yeah. to see James Brown get, and that moment of of tears coming out of your eyes is different. Yeah. I can't tell you how incredible.
That's amazing. And, and I just love the great entertainers, the great performers, the great showmen. Yeah. The great bought the storytellers and just watching them, you just mesmerize. Oh you know? yeah. You get caught up in it. I love it. One spotlight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. Those guys were cool. And Sammy Davis and I just love it, the whole thing. Magic. Yeah. It's real magic. What about uh, James Brown in the hot tub? Hot tub! <laughs> <laughs> That's great.